Okay, here's the front door. I don't know how to... Oh, there we go. I've learned how to zoom out. Okay. Um, Grams? Okay. We're ready to come in now. Hello. Well, hello. Are you all ready? Yes. We're going to tour the house so that everybody can remember the house at Greenwich Drive in Maryville, Tennessee and all the wonderful things that you have put into it and all of the memories. Here we come in. All right. Grams, and if you tell us about even this lovely fountain here. Well, when we first moved into this house, this was just a, a wall here with gravel behind it that we were supposed to put uh, flower pots and flowers in. But the boys decided that they could make a wonderful pond. And then they decided they could make a fountain, and we didn't know what whether it was going to really work out or not, but there is the fountain, and everybody's enjoyed it ever since. And then my friend, one of the women in the medical auxiliary, uh, sculpted Bathsheba after my first book came out. Uh, Joyce McCroskey. And uh, I bought it from her, and we decided she was the perfect one to sit in the midst of the wonderful fountain and pond. And the frog is a, a pleasant frog I found someplace in an antique shop. In and what about this big wooden mirror? Oh, the big wooden mirror is a reproduction of some of the uh, of the windows in the Middle East. Move over just a little and I'll get there in the mirror. There you go. Their windows are like that. And somebody has put a mirror in the, in the window, and so you open the shutters, and there you have a mirror. And I thought that was just lovely, because it gives a, a view uh, that you feel like you're inside a house and looking out a window. Of course, you wouldn't see me just standing there like that. <laughs> and this bird has just sort of forced his way in. I don't know how long he's going to be here. He doesn't really seem to fit, but there he is. Okay. And over on this side is a tapestry that I'm very fond of. Now, Paul was working in Washington, D.C. Uh, they were restoring some of the houses there. And somebody threw this beautiful tapestry away. And Paul rescued it and... Uh, he didn't know what he was going to do with it, and I said, oh, I would love that tapestry. So I borrowed this basically from Paul. I don't know uh, when he's going to say I have to give it up, but I really love the tapestry. And then these are things from that you would see in anybody's house in Gaza or Yemen. But this is one of the lamps that they used to have. Even some of the houses when we were there had this hanging in the middle of the room and there would be oil, olive oil in here, and then cords out here and they'd light the cords and that was the only light they had. What about those candles? Didn't you say those tall candles came from Chib or something? Uh, the tall candles uh, were a gift from my brother who was doing, uh, I have quite a few things from him. He was an antique dealer. He always had strange and wonderful things, and I needed them. Now this fellow, who says welcome, was from Nathan Carrick. He thought I needed a frog. I have collected funny little frogs from time to time. But this one is probably the funniest frog I have. And Nathan gave me this frog. And so he sits here in the front to welcome people into the house. And you see how nice he, nicely he does. And it says welcome on it. So everybody's had a part. And this rug was being thrown out by my brother because he said, well, it's not a, a really a very good Chib? Rug. Yes, my brother, Chib. And Homer I, Hamilton. Homer Hamilton Benham Kells. I named him. I'm 12 years older than he is. 
And so uh, I named him. And then here is this clock. Uh, John and, and Paul bought the clock on one of their uh, trips. I don't know. They were, went up to Virginia or someplace and bought the clock. And so it's been here ever since. And a lot of the grandchildren treasure the clock because they remember it bombing in the night. And we had no idea that they were that interested in the clock. But the interesting thing about this house is you won't see any other house, they assured me, that has a, a staircase like this. Uh, because they had such a struggle getting this metal staircase uh, railings in. And uh, it goes clear up to the second floor, so uh, we treasured it. And this is, I call him Luke. He's probably a Roman. I'm coming in on the picture. And the picture is a very special picture because one of the women in Gaza, whose husband was the chief of police, who had uh, threatened at one time to, uh, some of the girls who wanted to be baptized, that if they were baptized, uh, they would be sent home in great disgrace. Uh, she came uh, with the picture and her little son named Mohammed, and she said, Mohammed wants to give you a, a cross, a necklace with a cross, because he knows you would like it. And I want to give you this picture because it has a church in it, and I know you would like that. It's the day, eh? Well, I've called him David, or but Luke. he's now Luke. <laughs> okay. He's now, but do, he's, the, do Yobbs' things on the wall behind me. Okay, you. now behind me are my husband's diplomas, and we have almost all of them. And uh, there are two pictures of Hopkins. Here's a little one, here's a bigger one. He graduated from Hopkins undergraduate, and then from Hopkins Medical School, and then went on to uh, do his uh, internship and residency at White Cross Hospital in Columbus, Ohio. And all of these are his diplomas and, and record all a lot of hard work he put in. And he ended up with a fellowship in the American College of Surgeons, of which we are very proud. And so after his name, always you put F F A C S. American fellow of the American College of Surgeons. He made very. He didn't make any great big fuss about it, but I've always made a bit of fuss because I knew how hard he worked. So we have all of his diplomas up here, and uh, this gives a record of a lot of hard work. He was in the Middle East, uh, working in in the Baptist Hospital in Gaza and then in Yemen for 17 years and uh, put his medical expertise to, to good use doing, uh, do, doing uh, plastic surgery as well as regular surgery. Now let's go up the stairs.